Hola mi gente and welcome back to another episode of Sticky Counters. Today, we're gonna be going over all the tools that you need to make the perfect balanced cocktail at home. Now let's get into it. Now the first tool that we're gonna focus on is the Carico Cocktail Shaker. Now this is a two part shaker. You have the 18 ounce and you have a 28 ounce. Now why do we need this tool? This tool is made for shaking up cocktails. So let's say you're adding liquid into the small one. Now you add your ice, and now you add the big shaker, you put it on top, and you gotta make sure it's completely locked because before you shake up the cocktail, you need everything to be in there or else it's gonna explode on you. And now you flip and you shake up the cocktail. So this is the first tool that you need in order to make a perfect balanced cocktail. Now let's set that to the side. Now, my other trusty tool is going to be the jigger. Now, what is a jigger? This is a measuring tool that bartenders use in order to make the balanced drink. So we have a small part right here, which is a full ounce. Inside, we also have another measuring, which is three quarters and half an ounce. Now, when you flip it over, you have two ounce pour, and inside you have an ounce and a half. So this is the perfect tool in order to measure out your cocktails. Now, this is called a Japanese jigger. Next thing that we need is our strainer. Now, this is called a Hawthorne strainer. This actually goes on top of your Carico shaker, so you prevent any of those particles, ice, uh, let's say herbs, and anything like that, and keeps it in the shaker so you're able to like pour it into your glass. So it makes it very simple. The other tool that we have is the muddler. So what do you need a muddler for? Well, you have your mojitos, you have maybe old fashions that you wanna muddle some fruit in. You Basically any cocktail that has fruit or anything that's solid that you need to muddle, this is the perfect tool that you need. Next, you have the cone strainer. You have a Hawthorne and you have a cone. Why do you need both? So let's say you're muddling fruit. What you wanna do is put the cone strainer on top of the glassware and you're gonna be straining the liquid right on top. So now you have double strainage uh, for the cocktail. So now you're gonna prevent any of those particles to fall into the glass and you're gonna have a nice clean cocktail at the end. Next is going to be the mixing glass or the Yari mixing glass. Now this tool is meant for stirring the cocktail. So let's say your old fashions, your Manhattans or anything that's a boozier style drink. Now you usually build the cocktail in here, add ice, and then you stir. So that brings me to my next tool, which is going to be the bar spoon. So the bar spoon is long enough so you don't have any of the fingers inside the drink. You could stir from right up top. And this is a, the perfect tool. So if you have the Yari mixing glass and the bar spoon, it's perfect to, for stirring cocktails. Now my last and favorite tool is the hand press juicer. Why? Because you always want fresh juice when making a cocktail. It really makes a difference. When you're squeezing it, you get the acidity, you get the sweetness, you get the bitterness, the oils, everything is there. Instead of purchasing bottled juices with all those artificial colors and that artificial taste, which I do not like. If you wanna pick up any of these tools for yourself, please make sure to check out the separate links below. It'll definitely help out the channel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. I will make sure to answer them. And if you like content like this, Please, please make sure to subscribe. And now it is time to get shaken.